Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess I'm live now, so. <clears throat> I think I'm going to start off with some Minecraft. See how that goes. I uh, just got the chemo pump put in this morning. Well, I've got on chemo and see my wonderful uh, needle mess here on my arm. Fun, fun. So, uh, I'll probably do a video about 3D printing later on. Uh, I had a request about that. 3D printing is a hobby of mine. I'm not going to say I do professionally. I have sold some 3D print stuff, but uh, I'm not a professional. For some reason, uh, the initial uh, chemo usually makes my nose run. And uh, a lot of people might ask, why is your port on your arm? And maybe because she fat friends, it's always been, let's see, no, it'd be on the left, left chest part. The tape that they used to secure some of this stuff down is horrible. I'm going to have to replace some of it. But anyway, it's on my right arm. It's hoping it's going to be on my left. Because my, my left arm is not my dominant arm, my right arm is. Even though I probably should be left-handed. That's enough about that. Let's, let's get into, uh, let's go to Charles on Chemo. Let's update it. Well, Minecraft update it. Let's see what it does to the world. Oh, got my little cave. Place where I'm running down. Let's see. Let's see what tools do I have? Probably want to make some more. Probably want to store some stuff so I don't lose it because, you know, it's always good just losing stuff in this game. Uh, broken our sword. I'll just stick that up there. Let's do the shift and click. And, uh, we need that, but gravel, you can get rid of. Don't have a bow yet, but we will get there. Oh, yes, we will get there. We will get that bow. Uh, I'm on some pretty good drugs right now. Uh, let's see what my furnaces are going on. Ooh, got more iron going, okay. Cool. You might have you might hear me talking to the kids there in the kitchen. So it happens sometimes. My ears feel kind of plugged. It's kinda of weird. Yeah, need more audio, but I'm sure I have. There we go. Okay. Some bricks there. Where's, uh, oh yeah. Alright, it's almost done. But I need to craft stuff. I craft these. That uh, should get me for a while. Don't really need a shovel. I think they're useless. Might need a good axe. But, uh. Oh, grab some iron out of here. We need three to make that axe, so. I'm just not going to take the whole. 
whole bucket with me on that. And we make a skid axe. That looks good. Put that right there. Right next to the food. Also, let's, uh. I am armored, so. Always good to have armor. Always good. Right now I can feel my thought process are a little bit fuzzy. Just to let you know. That's that last time. Now, I do have a Linux box over here that I'm probably going to set up as a Bedrock server. And uh, get it configured and do up a map on it. And I might start in putting that out that, you know, you can get into it. I'm only going to limit to a certain number. So once the server fills, it's, it's done. Doesn't really have a lot of memory, so it'd be a small group. Uh, I'd probably host it on this one, but I also work with it, and I don't want to be hosting a server on a PC that I also have to work on. Be nice to have my own uh, dedicated server, but uh, don't watch money on that. And Minecraft servers hosted it. it actually, do cost a Good pity, even if they're bedrock. So I'm gonna host a small one, small amount of people, no problem. I just gotta get the Linux box up, do the remote desktop stuff. Guess I usually don't put a monitor on it. I just set in a corner and just let it do its server thing and do a remote desktop on it after I get it configured. No keyboard, no mouse. Just have it set powered. But it does take a little bit of time to get it all configured and set up. But usually you use uh, Linux Mint to do it as well, which is a Ubuntu, which is also Debian uh, distribution, uses the Debian package and Debian, a lot of the Debian bash commands. So, which, you know, kind of I can enjoy. Probably notice my voice is a little bit shaky. Uh, that's usually normal. Uh, I'm on uh, two different forms of uh, anti-nausea. One is a long term, one is a short term. Short term is so Chauvin. Sh I can't pronounce it right now. It's, you feel kind of like drunk when you're on this a little bit, a little bit fuzzy. Uh, also makes you a little bit sleepy. Just to let you know. I am feeling it a little bit. It's one of the reasons why I did not go to work uh, after I got hooked up is because I was feeling tired and exhausted from the procedure. They also, whoa, what that happened? Well, I'll kill you too. 
with that? How about with the sword? Much better. Well, get back up there. Come back up here, yay! No. What the hell? Uh, Put you down there. Let's get the coals up there. But, uh, things going pretty good so far. Uh, And like my doctor said, I'm going to have to play this by ear. Some, some chemo treatments are going to be better than others. Uh, my blood test went through fine. Didn't pass out on that one. Yay. Uh, I think his name is Ruben. And he is one who stuck me uh, before. And I usually don't feel it. He stuck me this time. I did not feel it. And it was... Uh, it was a good experience from the uh, vampires. Uh, and uh, him or his, uh, the, the other partner there, they're probably the only two that gets to stick me. But he knows my veins and knows where to hit me, so that causes me less issue. He's a very calming person. Uh, when I did pass out before the, the last session of chemo, uh, the little student, she was so tense. She was so nervous, especially after I mentioned, you know, I have a phobia to needles. And I, I warn people about it because I do pass out. I do know it's a problem of mine. And, uh, you know, I, I hope I didn't, you know, traumatize her. But yeah, you you got to be pretty good for a person like me to to stick that needle in and and not have me go out like a light bulb. Uh, it's just the way things are. There's a spider. I might get me another piece of rope. If you can come over here, come on, come on. You know you want to attack me. Here you are. But that's just the uh, way it is. Still have not received a bill from the hospital for my long stay. Uh, so it's been probably about a month already. And I have not received that bill. Uh, 
need the other pickaxe. Team with it's gold. But no diamonds in here yet. This is a scary place. Okay, we fix that one. Let's fix this one. Nope. Not too bad. Okay. We're good there. I hope everyone is gearing up for the holidays or has some form of plans for the holidays. This is dangerous because it might be. Yeah, I'm going to try over here. Ah, so much better. Holy macro coal. Ah, but anyway. Back to my gaming and stuff. Looks like I'm doing a little bit better right now. The nausea isn't that bad. And again, I'm on a lot of anti-nausea medicine. But, uh, let's see if I can't pick up some of this stuff. And Give me a second here. What are you working on? What are y'all doing over there? Us? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's leaving and I'm going to go back to him. Oh, okay. So, Samsung just wants to give you a check for your phone, Micah? Yeah, they want to pay off the rest of the phone to AT&T and then I'll just get a new phone. Oh, okay. I was just curious about that. Gonna go something different or the same thing? I can't go the same thing. What? I can't go the same thing. That's part of the problem. Oh really? But yeah, it's not available. Well. Um. That kind of sucks. So now I have to either think about switching to iPhone or finding a new um, Samsung phone. Yeah. So they do have other flips, I just don't know that I want to go with any of those other ones. I understand.
Australia. Just doing some stairs. Probably need to do this exercise in real life, but we'll have to wait and see. Ah, who would they do that? I have enough to get to the top. Probably, maybe not. I don't know. Rain's all fuzzy. Keep on making mistakes like that. Probably not. Anyhow. I'm heading out. Alright. Sun's headed out. And I am still streaming. fanny pack with a pump in it and a chemo bag which is toxic to most people and they have bio things you know and I'm putting this stuff into my system is that really smart who knows but they said it would kill the cancer so I am doing it So I may become stronger, and I am out of stairs. Didn't I make enough stairs? We will have to hop to the top. Hoppity, hoppity, hoppity. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll take you. Oh no, put you in here. And then take you. And I will put you in there. Bond. I don't attend. Need a second, gotta blow my nose again. Where?
Now, uh, I think I talked about this in my other video. I have to go get, uh, I mean, I had to go get something that's called Fred's Brew. Uh, which you, as far as I understand, only UMC has it. It's a special blend of uh, certain things. So, oh wow! Welcome to the chat room. But anyway, you know, things are going on. My nose is running. Just got put on chemo for some reason that happens. I'm able to breathe good. It's tired, so it's all the chemicals they gave me. So about Fred's brew, little thing here. Uh, so it looks like it has like three components. There are no four four components. So what it's used for is a mouthwash. It has a, a Benadryl and a, and a antihistamine and, and uh, a steroid in it. Uh, basically, it's to keep your mouth from sloughing too much of the skin and causing blisters. Uh, I had to ration myself last time because I just had a small amount of fresh food left and, you know, requested a uh, script to it, which I can't get at my normal pharmacy. Fortunately, it, it, it didn't cost that much. The insurance doesn't cover it, but it was like $16.62. So it it was a very cheap uh, script. It could have been so much more. And uh, so wait, let me put some bit in there. See what I mean? Mine's kind of fuzzy. You know you're going to do something, but you just can't remember what you're doing. So, still need to do the coal. Get back over to that in a moment. So, pickaxe, we'll go ahead and replace that. Give me an extra one. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see here. That. To here, and I now have a bow, a very good bow. I'm not going to use that one, but I'll use it until I break it. Now I need more string so I can make a fishing pole. See, we also need to make some torches too. This up here, so I'll mess with it. Don't like the rotten meat. Put chicken, we'll put it here. So I'm gonna go hunting. We'll plant some trees while I'm out. So I'll pick up some more wood. That's it. Make a few more arrows. Go for some chickens. Go make more arrows. Four torches at work. Let's 
see, is it nighttime or is it daytime? Looks like it's daytime. Oh yeah. I need to finish this too. Oh look, you have a zombie down there with armor helmet. Uh, he has to get on the surface. Okay, so it's not like oh, there's a rat. Should he use the bow? Aha! Good way to kill rabbits. Hey, how's it going there? Yes, I am playing. A little bit fuzzy, but I'm playing. I am here. I do exist. And it's daytime, and I do like the nighttime. Stupid things come out of you with the nighttime. my palace. Oh, snowballs! Yay! There's the village. Oh. Oh, jeez. What the hell was that? Whew. Ouch.
Yeah, he probably did. They always do. Ah. <sighs> Well, if you look at my arm right here, chemo time. Let me show you my uh, lovely uh, 1980 style fanny pack. Yes. Uh, well, I have to have this on until Friday, so I get get it off on Friday. Fun, fun, fun. So, so I get to live with a needle in my arm and chemo for a few days. Today's not too bad. Tomorrow might not be too bad. We'll see. Friday will be ouchy time. That's when my... Uh, Nausea really, really kicks in because the stuff they gave me today, which was a long-term nausea medicine and a, uh, a short-term nausea medicine. So the short-term is just to get me through procedure today. The long-term will get me through probably until Friday morning, give or take. So, and then I can go on to my regular wonderful drugs on that. Uh, let's see, where are those going? Those are going okay. Still just kind of wears you out playing games like this, so. Got a few snowballs out there. Wait, let's change those into something else. I think I can. Oh, iron ore. That uh, come on. And go copper up. See what we can do with the snowballs. Snow. Okay. Top snow. Some pretty cool stuff. How about we just put it in our cooler? There we go. All in the cooler. Oh, I had some rabbit. Might have been a rabbit. That, that was rabbit. That's not. That looks pretty close to iron ore. <laughs> this, this is my general world that I created uh, when I started Minecraft, and it's just I, I've done a lot in it, and I only play it when I'm on chemo. Uh, I, I do want to set up a uh, a bedrock Minecraft server. I have a Linux box sitting over to the side, and I just have to go in it and configure the, uh, first off, set up Minecraft, but I also need to set up remote desktop. So I could just have it setting over to the side, just connected to the network, no keyboard, no mouse, no monitor. And I could just, you know, remote desktop into it and, uh, modify it from my gaming PC. So hopefully I'll have that online here in the future and I'll even poke a hole in it. Uh, and there are certain types of modifications that you can do in the, in the bedrock now. Uh, and, and I might throw some of those into that bedrock server. Uh, of course I'll, Create, create the world and create a spawn point that's pretty nice and 
put in some chests with some goodies in it for those who join. Uh, but it's going to be a limited amount because the box, the computer, I think only has like six gigs of RAM. It's not a power horse. It should be able to do a Minecraft server maybe of five to ten bedrock without having too many issues. So, uh, but I, I'm kind of, I hate to say, I'm more of a vanilla Minecraft. I'm, I'm in it to see what I can build, see what I can do in it. Uh, I don't really play the end game. Five to ten year users on the server. Yeah, about five to ten. No more. But that's all it's going to be doing. Uh, hopefully I can get that set up in the next week or so and uh, get it up and going. I just have to sit there and do it. And that's the pain part. Oh, I just love these people. Come on. Hey. That hurt. Yeah, she got me good. Yeah, I'm poisoned. I'm on poison. Get out of my system. But this new Minecraft, it, it's a, uh, it has some challenges in there. I've never had that f uh, freezing uh, thing hit me before. I'm falling into the cracks of the ice. Uh, I picked this location. This is pretty close to the spawn, but let's see here. There's a, a war tower right there, but there's also a, a town like right across from there. So after I get myself built up, I'll probably try to go over there and kill some of those guys and get their flags. If they're alive, but I let myself heal up just a little bit. I also need to get some food. I think out that way might be my best bet for that. Thank you, chicken. Your life will feed my belly. Well, there's some pigs. Oh, some sheep. Come here, picky picky. In a hole. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I might uh, do that, de depending on. Uh, I just kind of did it quickly today. I'm on drugs, so my. Uh, what can I say? My decision capabilities are not all that good right now, Joe. I'm kind of funky. Oh, there it is. Now 
might go do something stupid, like go pick a fight. Oh, it's on the water. Wow. I've seen one like that. They all frozen? Oh, no, no. There's one in there. I'm going to need a lot of arrows for this one. Need to go kill some more chickens. This is what we needed. I love it. Some snow. Oh, there it is. Snow. Love you. Thank you. going at it for about an hour and my nose is running really bad so I am going to call it after I put my guy in the bed reset the game uh, that's it for this video uh, I'll have this and some other things uh, posting up in the days to come but uh, I'll take it easy uh, Phoenix Don thanks for dropping in and uh, I'll check you like next time, all right?